Hey guys, how's it going? Triple J Boxing here. So, Eddie Hearn was recently asked if an Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford rematch were to happen at 154, would, would Spence be better and who would win? And he still thinks, though, that Crawford would be the heavy favorite. He does think Spence would be a bit stronger at 154, and which I do agree with. And But he says that won't even matter, though, because he thinks the reason why Spence did so bad in the first one is obviously a credit to Crawford. He says you can't take away anything from Crawford's performance. But he thinks it's more than just the weight, um, which is part of it. He thinks, though, it's just wear and tear for, uh, over the years of him having fights, tough fights, just boxing in general, wear and tear on your body. Um, plus, lifestyle. We, he's been known to blow up in weight outside of camp um, for years. Uh, rumors have been going around that he really puts on a lot of weight outside of camp. Obviously in recent years he has tried to minimize that and try to get his weight down as close to um, the 147 pound or even outside of camp by hiring like a chef nutritionist for the Ugas fight. But there's a, even a point where his body won't even be able to do 147 anymore completely even with all that intervention and all that discipline he's putting in so we have the lifestyle and then eddie hearn also brought up the torn retina that he had in the training camp for pacquiao um and then the car crash so you start to put all this together and you start to think yeah i always thought wear and tear was getting to errol spence i did think terence crawford was going to win the fight not that dominantly but I did pick Crawford to win by knockout but in, in a competitive kind of fight though and I agree I agree with everything that Eddie Hearn's saying here I do think Spence will be better at 154 but you have to uh, you have to realize that Crawford might still be stronger at 154 to, as well if, if I had to put money on it, I would say Str Crawford's just the stronger guy at any weight they fight at. Um, we know Crawford is known to be a very good wrestler. Um, I've seen him ragdoll guys in videos at the gym when they challenge him to a wrestling matches. The guy is just... He's just a strong guy. He has raw power. And I guarantee if they were to wrestle, uh, Terrence Crawford would beat... Errol Spence in a wrestling match as well. So he's just a freak athlete. He's good at every... Yeah, I bet he's a super fast runner as well. You know what I mean? This guy's just a good athlete. And so I think that Crawford will still be stronger. Though the 154 pound uh, weight will probably make Spence feel physically more comfortable. And that will maybe give him mental confidence too. Knowing that, okay, I, I'm at 154. I feel better. He might go into the fight mentally with more confidence as well as physically feeling better. But how long will that last for? Maybe one, two, three rounds until Crawford starts turning it on again. So I agree with this statement, though, for sure. I've thought about this for a while, um, that the car crash in the Torn Retina, you start to wonder, is this affecting Spence? Is the Torn Retina maybe a product of the car crash? Because when you're thrown out of like a Lamborghini at a hunt, I don't even know, some ridiculous speed. And luckily he wasn't wearing a seatbelt because he would have been crushed because it was a convertible. But who, who would have thought though not wearing a seatbelt would have saved your life. But still thrown out of a car onto the concrete, your bones and your body, just the, the amount of trauma, the, the heavy trauma they're under after being thrown out of the car like that. Maybe your body's never the same. And ever since the car crash, he's never looked... You could say he's never looked the same, even though he's been getting wins. Like, the Ugas fight... I, I know he got the stoppage win, but Ugas was having moments in that, in that fight. And he hurt um, Errol Spence in that fight. So, normally, I never would have thought Ugas would be able to hurt Spence at all. Um, 
The Danny Garcia performance was all right, but nothing extraordinary to me. Um, so it's hard to really say how much it's affecting him because even if Spence will, we'll just say we could somehow go back in time and we could see Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence before the car crash, before the torn retina uh, years ago when maybe he was still, he could make weight a bit easier as well, right? Um, would it have mattered? I think it would have mattered, but the Crawford still would have beat him. His skills are better. He's just a better fighter. Like, um, I think that it would have been competitive though, but Crawford still would have won. It would have been like how we thought it maybe would have played out. We would, because we all thought the fight was going to be competitive, but some people were saying Errol Spence was going to win. Some people were going to say Terrence Crawford. I thought it was going to be competitive and Terrence Crawford was going to eventually hurt him and knock him out. But maybe back in the day, it just would have been a competitive fight that Crawford just edged him out, right? Not got the knockout, who knows? But we'll never know now. But I do think Crawford would have beat Spence no matter what. But yeah, like all of this stuff, all of the stuff that's been going on um, in Errol Spence's life outside of the ring has really took a toll on him, wear and tear. And maybe, yeah, Eddie is right that the weight will make him strong, but it won't, it won't really matter. This the stuff outside the ring is just so much miles have been put on his tank. And you got to think the, that fight with Crawford even put more miles on the tank, Eddie said, because it was a tough fight. Like in like Teddy Atlas says, you, you always leave a piece of yourself in that ring each fight. And especially a tough fight like that where you get beat down like that. Those fights are worse than getting knocked out with one shot. So it's going to be tough for him to come back and beat Crawford. Even do, even do better. If he even does better, that would be a win. Or a, it would be surprising to a lot of people. But yeah, at 154... It might help him a little bit, but Terrence will beat him at any weight. And Terrence is just that kind of guy. You put in a room, in a, in a room lock him in a room with a bunch of men, he's going to come out. That's the kind of guy he is. He's a killer. He's just going to come out of that. He's going to be the one to, to come out of that ring alive. You know what I mean? He's one of those guys that you can actually say that about. So, um, yeah, so I agree with Eddie, Eddie Hearn's comments. I do, uh, I, I think the, just the out of the ring stuff that's plagued Spence in the last couple of years has really just wear and tear on the body. Plus the regular wear and tear of boxing, you add that on top of that, that's why he looked like that, but you still can't take away Terrence Crawford's performance. He did that because there was a chink, there was a weakness in Spence's armor. He's wilting a bit, and that's why, that's a, a good fighter would have just maybe beat Spence or it would have been a close fight. But an all-time great would destroy a Spence like Crawford did. So that's why I think you got to give credit to Crawford as well. Because if Crawford wasn't that good, he probably he wouldn't have been able to do that to a Spence even that was compromised, right? Because like you got to think, Ugas couldn't do it, Danny Garcia couldn't do it, and this was all after the car crash, right? Um, obviously you could say, yeah, he's having more trouble making weight now than he did two years ago when he fought those guys, but, um, we, I, I really don't think the weight's going to really matter that much to be honest, but, um, yeah, so w let me know what you guys think, um, how the rematch will go and why do you think the fight played out the way it did? Um, do you think it was just... Like Eddie said, the wear and tear from all the car crash and everything. Or do you think it's just because Terrence Crawford's that good? Or do you think it's all just the weight uh, that Cro or that Spence is having trouble just making the weight that affected him? Let me know in the comments. And this Triple J Boxing, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.